I'm, if you improve the length around the joint, should that be enough? So I think this is um, someone who's asked us on Facebook, if we improve the length of the joint, I'm guessing it's probably, you know, if you basically stretched or what we would come under MUA, you know, would that be enough? So essentially someone asking if they can pull the, the shoulder out of the, um, out of the socket and create that space, um, whether it's through uh, a release, which is, you know, going in there with a knife, uh, with the arthroscopy, or even just a manipulation anesthetic. Uh, Ruben, how, how many do you do uh, MUAs? Like how many MUAs would you say you'd be doing particularly for frozen shoulders? So it's interesting, I, I, mean, I don't do any MUAs. Uh, but having said that, I did lots of MUAs during my training and, and the Vogue sort of changed to go from MUAs towards arthroscopic releases. And the reason for doing that was, uh, you know, there are some potential complications associated with the uh, uh, MUAs. So if you don't do them in a the correct manner, you could potentially fracture the humerus. So it's got to be done in, in a very sort of, uh, you know, you have a short lever arm and there's a particular maneuver you, you sort of tend to do them in. Um, and there's also people they, where they did studies where they did an MUA and then subsequently put an uh, arthroscope in and they found there was damage to lots of structures like you could get a labral tear, you could potentially tear the rotator cuff. Uh, and so there was a quite a vogue moving away from it. But having said that, an MUA done correctly is an excellent procedure. Uh, it's very cost effective uh, and it, it sort of quite quickly uh, improves uh, quality of life. But it's one of those things where there's been a gradual vogue away from it. Uh, but if it's done correctly, it works really, really well.